In this video, we'll talk about creating a simple quest system in RenPy. After completing the cook breakfast quest, the eat breakfast quest will be available. My code is available on HIO, so you can copy it there. Just create a new class. I'll call this quest.rpy and save this as alpha so that it will save us an rpy format and now we can create our class and call it quest i think it should be capital yeah there should be an init python let's just copy paste this why are we making our life so hard when we can just copy paste this so we don't need this link i'll just call this store object I read that this is required. I haven't um, done my research on this, but it's required and it also helps with the rollback. Uh, rollback error, you won't get it according to this documentation. So, in my init, I will have a name, description, and a available, started, and completed. We just have to do self that name equals name uh, da, da, da. copy paste everything so this means that we're just uh, what happened initializing or setting the variables as this one i'll show what it does later i guess we'll do clean your room first Default meaning we'll create a variable of clean my room. I think uh, I'll just start it with quest so that it's easier to find, I guess. Should I say goal? I'll just say quest. So for this one, we have a quest. So we'll name it clean my room. Clean, clean room. I don't know. <laughs> Either way works really. Yeah, so that's really not a helpful <laughs> description, but I guess what I need. <laughs> okay, for the available started and completed, we should set it to false. We can manually say here false, false, and then false, uh, capital F, like three false, but we can also do this. So this means that even though we are not setting the value here, we are setting it in the init because this will be called when we do quest and then set the properties. The name is clean room. Description is this one and available is false, started false, and completed is false. Let's create a test text so that our code will be running. Completed is not defined. I think, yeah, wrong capitalization. What happened there? So start, and then we have it here. And if we do shift D and go to our variable viewer, we have our request clean my room here. Now we can't read it, so we have to go to the console. Let's copy paste it. Why did I name it so long? So this one, we can type our variable here and you will find it. Now, if we want to access the name, we can say, variable dot name and then the other property such as description i think and also the available yep so we've created our class and now how do we use it i already had a plan before but <laughs> it's not very precise so my plan was after cooking breakfast you will find this eat breakfast quest Let's go to script and then I can say just woke up. Yeah, the first thing I will do when I wake up is cook breakfast. Really? <laughs> no, that's a lie. Don't believe me. So now that we have a quest, we need an array of the quest. We can say default quest equals to array. So you can think of array as a list. This is an empty array. So usually it'd be quest, blah, 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 blah. Right now we have clean my room quest. But we don't want that for now. Okay, because we want to see how this thing actually works. 
time to make breakfast. I want it inside to be inside the last quest list so we can see a store object again and then let's create the properties okay so now we have a quest so i think i'll just create the other quest for now so actually for the available we want it to be true so we can say true here instead of it being false available true for our cook breakfast we can also set it to available true so two tasks will appear at the same time menu and then i'm i'm just guessing here we're accessing the clean my room quest and we want to get its name so and then this will show up copy paste everything let's go to the main menu shift r r just woke up time to make breakfast oh is the ui like this so anyway the clean room cook breakfast and eat breakfast are appearing here so we don't want to show the eat breakfast yet because we don't have any breakfast what we want to do is will only show this quest if the quest eat breakfast is available now you can see that it didn't show up now let's focus on the clean room and cook breakfast once we do the clean room we don't want it to appear there anymore so what we can do is instead of pass oh so by the way i couldn't pass so that there won't be anything happening in the code if it it is pressed clean my room task we want it to be completed i think started and then completed yeah should be started wait i'm confused okay let's just say this let this to true and then completed to true the value will change uh what's this so we forgot the dollar sign this is used when we are accessing python classes so in this case we're accessing this python variable we can do the same for breakfast let's change this to cook breakfast so now if we don't want this clean room to appear when it's not needed anymore you can just go the same one here if clean my room was completed or you can do both true or you can remove the is true because this is already true so if you can read this as if true or if you had this one if true equals true so those two things are the same so this won't show up anymore let's create a loop so that we can show the menu over and over okay i think we need to create a label first uh tasks choices i don't know clean room cook breakfast eat breakfast uh let's fix the indentation why would you cook a room oh my god cook breakfast <laughs> we want it to jump back to as choices am i doing this correctly we have the job to clean 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 room and then we have the job to cook breakfast uh it's the same one here and then we have the job again yeah we have to jump to eat breakfast so let's try this escape escape let's go to the menu shift r to reload start just woke up time to make breakfast and uh -huh, what happened <laughs> why is it completed that's that's so weird i haven't completed it first clean my room completed ah okay 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 if not completed sorry this was my fault 
if not completed we want this thing to appear so yeah there you go okay so let's fix that this is if not completed if we haven't completed that task we want it to appear so we can do clean my ro clean room so the clean room stuff showed up and then we will show the remaining task which is cook breakfast so what happened there is we select this and these things happened the started and completed are set to true and we we jump to clean room that's why the clean room text appeared and then it goes back to task choices okay hope that was clear and so that's why the menu is appearing again and now we have only one choice it's cook breakfast so if we do this again i think the game will end oh okay so because we haven't added this one so let's uh, remove this so if i haven't completed breakfast the text will appear so start okay we can do this vice versa so cook breakfast so the remain should be clean room and once we clean room they should end the game so why did it end the game because um after cook breakfast it went here and then it went back to the choice which only showed up this text the clean room text and then with the clean room text you went back to task choices jump again but then there's nothing to show anymore that's why it went to return so what we actually want to do is we want this quest to rely on this quest so to do that we want this quest to be available actually we should have an available here just because um you should check every quest that it's available so just copy paste again the quest so if the quest is oh wait wait wrong syntax if clean my room is not yet completed and the clean my room quest is available it will show up so what we want to do is after cooking breakfast we want quest eat breakfast to be available dot available equals true start just woke up let's cook breakfast and now we see the eat breakfast with the clean room Ta-da! eat breakfast eat breakfast what's this happening ah because i haven't added the completed so if not completed <laughs> let's do this and not completed start yeah clean room okay let's do that start cook breakfast and then huh what happened what should happen is quest eat breakfast should be available if it, the quest is available after cooking the breakfast and that we have not completed that quest yet if we eat breakfast we will mark it as started and we will mark it as completed now if we jump to eat breakfast it will jump back here and then it should not show again okay so cook breakfast eat breakfast yeah it didn't show anymore then clean room and then it will end the game thank you to this month's supporters for more on my tutorials and vlogs please like and subscribe